Easy people, welcome back to my channel at Big Steve MCFC. Hope everyone is well. Um, my thoughts Arsenal at home, Manchester City nil, Arsenal nil. Um, going into the game, uh, three horse title race, Arsenal were the, uh, the team in form. Um, doing the previews with the Arsenal lads, they were confident. With they're the team who were, who were scoring the goals. Manchester City aren't playing that well. They've got to go to the Etihad, uh, put a marker down, and go and win the league. Um, didn't quite happen that way. Um, I think all Manchester City fans were a bit shocked the way Arsenal set up. Um, low block, two banks of five, defending. Uh, Manchester City were pressing, 75% possession. Um, and I think, you know, I'm, I'm listening to some of the Arsenal fans and they're saying like, oh, it's a great point. And I'm like, it ain't a great point. The result didn't benefit anybody. I think it shot both teams in the foot. I feel like there was only one team who were trying to attack and, and, and win the game with City. I feel like Arsenal were very dogged, defending well. I think they, they, they didn't offer anything up front. I feel like City didn't offer a lot of front. I think we had a lot of possession. I feel like we passed it from left to right very well. Um, but Erling Haaland couldn't get in the game. Um, the wingers couldn't get in the game. Foden couldn't get in the game. And when, you, when you're in the south stand and you look right down the pitch, you could see the way Arsenal was set up and, and, and there was no space. You know what I mean? There was no space. We were looking for people like Kevin De Bruyne to get on the ball and create something. It didn't happen. Um we had Kovacic in the midfield just as a bit of extra bite in case Arsenal did come at us. Didn't really happen. Um, I thought Josco Guardio played well. I thought it was one of the best games he's played. I thought he was really, really good. I have had Man City fans last few months have criticised him a little bit, but I thought uh, Josco was brilliant. I thought Akanji was excellent. I think he's our best defender at the minute on form. I think he was big. He's powerful. He can play all over the pitch. I think he's just, you know, he's Mr. Dependable. You know what I mean? Ruben Diaz didn't put a foot wrong for me. I thought he was okay. Um, the injury to Nathan Ake early doors was not very good. You know what I mean? We had to bring in Rico Lewis. But Rico came into that midfield and, and, and he did okay. I feel like I feel like Rico's not a right back. I don't know about you guys. Let me know in the comments. But I feel like Rico's not a right back. I feel like that little mid midfield role. He's he's okay, um, but he showed confidence. He got on the ball. He wasn't shy. He was he was he he, he was given his chance, and, and he, he didn't let us down. Um, Arsenal, however, you know, I feel like last season Arsenal were the team to beat. We were chasing. We didn't go to the uh, Emirates and sit back and go for a draw. We went there to win and we won. We played Liverpool last week at Anfield. We didn't go there for a draw. We went there to win and it was end to end. It could have gone either way and we got a point. Fair enough. I just feel like Arsenal might look back on that result and feel like if they would have been a little bit more braver, they, they could have got a result. I feel like Man United came... The other week, and they tried to be brave. They got the noses in front early doors. They could have been two up. They didn't. City got there in the end. But I just feel like Arsenal was hanging on for me. I feel like the fans knew it. I feel like I've seen reactions of the, the guys at AFTV and stuff like cheering when they got a point and that. I was walking out of there disappointed. I can't lie. I was thinking a point's not good enough. You know what I mean? Whether it proves to be good enough at the end of the season, we don't know. But at the minute, looking at the way City have been playing, um, we're drawing too many games. We're drawing far too many games. We're going to end up looking back at this season and thinking we drew against uh, Spurs. We've drew against um, Chelsea. These games aren't aren't good enough. You know what I mean? These are the games we, we need to be winning. These are the points we need on the board. Um, and it's not going to get any easier. Um, but what I do think, uh, and it pains me to say it, I feel like the lads look a bit tired. I feel like there's a few legs out there looking weary. I feel like Erling's not making the runs he made earlier in the season. I don't think he's making them because nobody finds him. I feel like Kevin's not up to full speed just yet. 
Jack Grealish has just come back. I think the balance is all wrong. Um, Doku comes on, very exciting, getting in good positions, no end product. Phil Foden uh, is having his best game, centre mid, he's pushed out on the wing. Bernardo Silva, again yesterday, I thought was brilliant. He's all over the park. But we're just lacking. I know for Manchester City, this sounds daft, but I feel like we're lacking that cutting edge up front. I just feel like the link from the midfield to Hurling Haaland's not there. You know, and Roy Keane, he's come out, you know what I mean? Fucking with some shite about him being a League Two guy and all that. Absolute nonsense. I mean, Roy Keane, to be fair, I do like his opinions because I think he says it how it is, but you're taking the piss, Roy. I know you're probably bitter and that with what happened with his old man and that. Uh, I get that. But to start going on saying he's, he's build up plays like something from League Two is bullshit because last season. When we played Arsenal at the Etihad, his build-up play was unreal because that's what fucking won us the game. You know, and you can't be talking about a striker that's scoring 50-odd goals a season as if, you know, we're mentioning League Two in his name. Don't help. I get it, the overlap views and that, you know what I mean? I get that. But come on, man, keep his name out of your mouth because he's going to end up ramming them words down your throat. You know what I mean? He's having a little bit of a purple patch, uh, a little bit of a bad patch at the minute. He's not getting involved in it, but Pep's got to come up with the answer for me. Pep's got to come up with the answer. If you've got Erling Haaland in your team, find a way to get him involved because at the minute it's not working. You know, we know that it's not working. And if you take a step back as City fans, and, and we all know we've not been playing too well this season. We all know that we're not the same as last season. Whether that's Ilkay Gundogan, Mares, Laporte, whether that's tiredness, whatever, you can, you can, we've all got our own individual reasons why City aren't playing well. But it's a fact. We're not. We're not scoring as many goals. We're not putting teams away. We're not wiping the floor with teams. Um, but I just feel like Pep's got to get, got to find the answer. I think we've got to find a solution. You know, um, do, do do we go back to a false nine for a couple of games just to get a bit of rhythm in the legs? Do we do we persevere with Harlan? Does he does he bring Alvarez back in the team? Um, does he change it to a 4 4 2? Because he, he, you know, he played four at the back last year, centre backs with this inverted. Does he ditch that? Does he come up with something? You know what I mean? This is where he needs to come up with something because if he can make a little tweak somewhere and it all clicks into gear, then we take this league because it's there for the taking, in my opinion. I don't think Liverpool are playing great football. And I think after watching Arsenal, I'm not convinced by it. I'm not convinced by it. Um, it was a little bit of good news to see John Stones on the bench. Obviously, uh, the injury with England. It looks like Kyle Walker is not going to be fit for Real Madrid. So, we got a Vinicius Junior problem there. Uh, Edison um, was missing again. Obviously, Edison's our number one. But Ortega, again, did put a foot wrong for me. <coughs> did really, really well. Staking his claim to be number one. You know what I mean? Let them two have a fight for it. Um, and Jack Grealish, Jack Grealish was back in the squad. He came on near the end. He did look tired. I saw Pep um, having a go at him at the end. I don't know what he'd done wrong, but he was having a go at him at the end. But I just feel like City were trying to win that game. 75% possession. Uh, we were looking for this perfect pass, this perfect goal. It didn't come. Arsenal decided to dig in. Low block, maybe get us on the counter, didn't do anything. And the game filtered out, you know what I mean? Nil-nil. And I just feel like both managers are going to be disappointed with that in the end. Well, I feel like Arteta will be happy with that. But I think in the end, he will be disappointed because I think City were there for somebody with a pair of balls to go and attack. I do believe that Aston Villa is going to come on Wednesday and maybe attack. So it might be a better game. But the game itself was very, very tactical, very, very chess-like. And it was a bit like, fucking hell, you know what I mean? It was... It is what it is, but maybe we're a bit spoiled. Maybe we're a bit spoiled. Um, I feel like Bernardo Silva, uh, Kevin De Bruyne, Foden just couldn't get going. I think the gaps was was not there. Um, I've seen an Arsenal guy complaining about the referee. Now, I'm not being funny. He's either blind or he's watched the wrong fucking game because the referee could have booked four of their guys in the first 20 minutes, you know what I mean, for fouling, Gabriel, uh, uh, Jesus, all fouling, all fucking bringing people down, could have been booked, didn't. I know he said something about De Bruyne kicking the ball away and then he booking Jesus and that, but listen, Anthony Taylor didn't get a grip of that game early doors. There was a few challenges that went unpunished and it set the tone for the rest of the game and he made a rod for his own back. 
other than that, I think he did okay. Okay, just okay. Um, but it's a point, it's a point. It's two dropped, in my opinion. We've got Aston Villa on Wednesday. We've got Crystal Palace at weekend. Um, there was a little protest in the crowd, the banner from the 1894 saying, do not, just, you know, you're ripping off the loyal fans and all that. Um, we're having an issue at the minute with the tickets and that. Uh, I've listened to both sides of the coin. I've seen people come up to me and say, Steve, the ticket's gone up 11 quid. Uh, 11 quid to watch the treble winners early in Harland. I'm not bothered. But then these people say, no, it's principal. It's gone up every year for 10 years. They're trying to price us out. They want tourists who are spending X, Y, and Z. You know, I've seen examples of tourists turning up in the South Stand with iPads and cameras and all that. We've seen it. Uh, but I've thrown my, my, my uh, hat in the ring. I've tried to come to an agreement. I've spoke to all parties involved and seen if we can come to a resolution. We're not getting nowhere. Um, someone at the club said they would ring me back two weeks ago. Uh, I've never had that call. No one's run me back. So that's just gone by to by. Uh, and to be honest, um, there's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do. The, the, the club ain't going to listen. I think the 1894 now are going to make this a protest and they're going to put the club in an awkward position where they're going to have to uh, talk to someone because nobody's talking. It makes me feel a little bit sad that we're, 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 we're fighting it out with our own club over tickets while we're having a title run. We've got Real Madrid coming up and all that. I feel like it's sad. I feel like it's it's not needed at this time. I feel like somebody could come out from the club and say, look, we understand your concerns. We'll speak to you at the end of the season. When the season's over, we'll get a few fans group in, supporters groups, whatever you want to do, and we'll have a chat and we'll see what we can do. That way it puts it to bed while the season's on and we can all concentrate on the... Uh, on the games. Um, but the atmosphere yesterday was okay. I thought the South Stand again was trying its best. It was a, you know, the City fans were trying to get behind the team, but, you know, it's hard when you're in that kind of game. It's very frustrating, you know what I mean? And, and as the game drawn on, it was getting nervier and nervier and that, and um, it petered out to a draw. It petered out to a draw. But I think a few City fans have thrown the towel in. I think they've realised that City's not that team this season. And they're gonna. I they don't think they're gonna win the league. All I can say is believe. We've got to believe. We've won the league a few times when we've literally had no right to do so. We've been on the bones of our ass, and we've fucking come back and won it. So all I'm saying is, let's keep the faith. We've got the best manager in the world. These players know how to do it. We're not playing the greatest, but I'm sure in training this week they're gonna come up with something to get us going again. And us as fans have got to be there. If we start ticking, we've got to be there. We've got Aston Villa, who are going for Europe. They're going to come. They're confident. We've got to deal with it. If we can beat Villa and then go to Palace and beat Palace and we're going into Real Madrid nice on two wins, sets us up nice. You know what I mean? It sets us up nice. Um, Injury-wise, I think there's only real, really uh, Kyle who, who we're missing. But obviously, we all know that Vinicius Junior, we need Kyle Walker. So that's going to be a problem. Um, but I thought Pep did okay with the tactics. I thought Kovacic was okay in the midfield. Um, and then do you know what I said at half time? I'll be honest. I said the only way Arsenal's going to score here is if we give them the ball because we kept giving the ball away stupid and they're getting us on the counter attack and we kept giving away stupid corners and fucking daft free kicks. So it was on our, it was on us, you know what I mean? And that's the problem when we kept the ball and we kept it moving, they didn't, we, there was no threat. It was the game was controlled by us. We control the tempo, we control the game. The second Kovacic misplaced the pass and they're on us, or Doku misplaced it, or Foden did a pass to, to, to Ake and it went out for a corner or something. That, that's when you're putting yourself under needless pressure. That's when you you're thinking we're, we're our own worst enemy here. You know what I mean? But like I said at the beginning of the preview, I do believe the only team trying to win the game was us. Um, but Arsenal came with a plan, whether that plan uh, he's got a backfire. I don't know. They got a point. They seem to be happy with it. But, you know, we just got to keep on moving. But other than that, Blues, um, we're straight back on the horse. Villa, Wednesday. Let me know what you think in the comments. Can City do it? Um, Unai Emery and, and Villa are on a good run at the minute. They're, they're doing well in Europe. They beat Ajax. They just beat Wolves the other night. Uh, Ollie Watkins having a great season. Diabe, Douglas Louise. 
obviously we need a bit of revenge because at Villa Park this season we were fucking awful and they battered us. So we need to put it right. Big Earl needs to get on the score sheet. I just feel like he's lacking something. I feel like that Earl in Harlem from last season that was powerful, smashing defenders, taking it on his chest, shooting with conviction, attacking the ball in the box. Boom, Edders, powerful. I feel like that guy's not there. I feel like he's he needs something. He needs a fucking rocket up his ass. You know, Gabriel's all over his back in that, but he's a he's a unit. He needs to be bang, but into his chest, bring it off. You know, make them runs, drag them all over. But then you're thinking, is Pep telling him to be central? Yeah, I don't. I, I just don't know. We don't know as fans, but we. I feel like we've got the best striker in the world, and we're not playing to his strengths. I think like they're all cogs in the machine, and the cog at the top's not spinning. If that makes sense. Um, but write him off at your, at your peril. He's going to be determined this week in training to be like, come on. He's going to watch that game back with the analysts and say, look, what could have done better here? Could have made a run here? Could have made a run there? There's a chance that he missed when he missed the ball. Do you know what I mean? Usually it's one chance, bang, it's in. You know what I mean? So we've just got to get going. We've got to keep getting behind the lads. Don't uh, turn on any players. Don't, don't uh, start getting frustrated with his ticket situation. Let's just pull together as one. Um, if you're going to Villa on Wednesday night, I'll see you there. Palace, I wasn't going, um, but now I am. So I'm going to go to Palace on Saturday. I'm going to fly to London on, uh, sorry, fly to Madrid on Sunday. All the, the, the people going out to Madrid, let's get there, enjoy it. We're all going to meet in Placa Mayor Square, uh, get a good crew of City together, and then hopefully we can all march to the ground ourselves, you know, together. We can organise something. To, same bars and that. I feel like these European aways now, we're getting a good crew. We can all get together and that. And um, listen, it's not doom and gloom. There's plenty to go at. There's plenty of other teams in the world of football that would love to be in our position. We're not playing well. Yeah. We're four points off the top or three points off the top. Sorry. We're in the semi-final of the FA Cup. We're in the quarter-final of the Champions League. And considering we're not playing well, I'm taking it. I'm taking it. And on that note, yeah, please leave your thoughts in the comments. I will always read them. I'll always like them if I read them. I can't reply to everyone because I've been there all year, but I do read every single comment you give. Uh, let me know what you think. Aston Villa coming up. Let me know what the solution is with Haaland. Is it time for a little break? Do we just persevere? Does Alvarez come back in? You know, does Grealish start now? Does Doku start now? Is Foden better in the middle? All these connotations, let me know. But all I know is we're keeping the faith, yeah? We follow you everywhere. See you at Villa on Wednesday. Up the blues. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Come on, sir.